Yay, I'm in the mountains. Hello, everybody. In today's video, I am going to drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway, searching for those elusive reds and golds. Also, the Tale of the Dragon, the Foothills Parkway, and Smoky Mountains National Park, among other things. Yes, a new Traveling Robert video is coming up next. Greetings from North Carolina. We are traveling due north, northeast on US 74 towards the Nantahala National Forest area. Uh oh, I don't think I was supposed to pass here. Hey, I'm just following the leader here, huh? Is this beautiful or what? That, of course, to the right is the Nantahala River. I definitely must come back to this area at some point. This town here is called Wazer, and that crosswalk you see there, that's the Appalachian Trail. We'll see it again. From here on, the drive is up and up. I am going painfully slow, so I am going to let some of these people pass. There's a cool motorhome passing by, that's more or less the size that we want. Well, here I am, Almond Boat and RV Park, located on the Fontana Lake, uh, right in between Wazer and the larger town of Bryson City. Let me show you my campsite here before I go. I think the, this is still part of the Nanthahala National Forest. And I have a vacant RV here on, the, on one side and one in storage on the other. So I'm pretty much by myself here at this site. And this is the entrance to the campground, so I'm like right by the entrance. Some of the trees are a changing color, most are not, but now we're going to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Before we go, let's explore the rest of the RV park. By the way, this place was not my first choice. I wanted something closer to Gatlinburg and the Smoky Mountains National Park, but everywhere I checked was sold out. It is the weekend, after all. This was the first place that answered and had vacancy and such southern hospitality, I had to say yes. $35 per night, by the way, for 30 amps. Full hookups. I think this place caters mainly to people with boats, but it is close enough to where I want to be, so it is fine. There's Minitini to the left. You blink, you miss it. And this here is the marina area, here on Fontana Lake which is a reservoir on the Little Tennessee River. Before getting on the Blue Ridge Parkway, let's check out Bryson City here. Just a quick drive through. Here to the left is the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad, as, as you can see, very popular. They take you on a vintage steam train through some scenic areas. Maybe next time, because today I'm on a mission to do the Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm -hmm. 
The GPS lady takes me through this gravel road here called Deep Creek Road. Not my favorite type of road, but hey, the views of the river to the right are pretty cool. Let me stop here, get a few shots. Ok, let's continue. Ooh, an RV park! I should have stayed there. I encounter some traffic as I approach a Cherokee, which is one of the gateways to the Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Parkway, the Appalachian Trail. Very touristy, big traffic jam but the, the Blue Ridge Parkway is coming up ahead and the guy at the campground told me that the leaves they should be peaking this weekend. Did he mean the whole weekend or the Saturday and Sunday? Because today is Friday. Check it out. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We have just arrived at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Cannot fly the drone in there. And uh, now we're gonna do the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's supposed to be peaking. Well, there we can start to see some fall colors. Very sporadic though. There's the sign. And this is the beginning of the Blue Ridge Parkway. It is such a cool drive as you get up higher and higher into the Appalachian Mountains. Let's stop here, see the view. Now we are here at 4,000 feet. Let's stop one more time. Not much uh, fall foliage yet, but still, it's such a beautiful view of the mountains and all the different layers of them. Let's keep going, let's try to gain some more elevation. Yeah, the first time I ever came to the Smoky Mountains, we stayed at the Mile High Balsam Mountain Campground, very close to here. That was our first RV trip ever as well. I never get tired of looking at these mountains. Well, this is uh, Thunderstruck Ridge. Weird Hornibuckle Valley. It's 
see quite a few shades of red and yellow and green. Tana Lake Overlook. Good morning. I'd love to show you how I got here, but I lost that memory card somewhere on the tail of the dragon. Oh, wait, you haven't seen that yet. Anyways, don't despair. Uh, that's why I always travel with at least two cameras. Here we are on the road to nowhere, and we're going to do a trail. Okay. Well, this was basically a road that was never completed, and they ended it here at this tunnel. <laughs> Let's go in, through the dark tunnel. Anyways, as the story goes, uh, this road was going to be built to replace a road that went underwater when they created Fontana Lake, so all the displaced people could access like old family cemeteries and such. On the other side of the tunnel, there's a network of trails. Tunnel! Let's walk a little bit. I'm gonna walk another quarter mile or so. Here are all the trails that I could have taken, uh, but I'm just going to turn around now. The trail is apparently also popular for equestrian activities. Back on the tunnel we go. Lots of people coming now. Be a popular trail here. Oh wow, that is cute. And we're back uh, by Bryson City on our way to another iconic highway. Such a cute little town here. Too bad I didn't set any time aside to really explore it. I continue. Once again, stumble upon Fontana Lake. I think this is a great excuse to fly the drone. Do you see where I am? Dam. Now we are at the place where the Appalachian Trail goes by Fontana Lake and actually crosses on top of the Fontana Dam. Oh, but yes it is. The AT. And we are here. Okay, next stop, Springer Mountain, Georgia. 
maybe not. Well, this uh, apparently is the, the 80, although I don't see any blaze unless that counts as a blaze. But it is a trail for certain and it is very, very steep. Beautiful walk in the woods here. Yeah, it's very steep. I don't think I'm gonna go any further. But check it out, up here. The Fontana Dam shelter. Imagine you're a through hiker and you arrive here. They have um, charging stations, solar powered. They have water. And it has this very well maintained shelter here. Very cool. Let's make sure no one is here. No. Very cool. Now, let's go back up tent sites where you're supposed to pitch your tent. Very cool. Time to continue. That's the dam. Here's the river. And there's the dam, Fontana Dam. Yep, the Appalachian Trail actually goes on top of the dam. This here is Deal's Gap, which is the beginning of the Tale of the Dragon, and I don't actually have any footage of the first half, but they have all these photographers taking pictures and then they sell them online. This is the scenic lookout here, which overlooks Calderwood Dam and Calderwood Lake, which, like the Fontana Lake, is also a reservoir on the Little Tennessee River. And this is the point where I switched memory cards and the old one got lost forever. We continue, but unfortunately, the best part of the road is behind us. On that lost memory card. I'll be honest, driving this winding road with my SUV, it's kind of a little bit tedious. I'm sure in a sports car that I could toss around at high speeds, it would be so much fun to drive. Not that I would ever do that. And that was the Tale of the Dragon, in a nutshell. Next, I want to visit Gatlinburg. You know, oddly enough, I have never actually been there. In order to get there, I am going to turn right, right here, onto the Foothills Parkway. This is another beautiful drive, with pretty good fall colors too. Uh, there are a bunch of these overlooks. Actually, these are probably some of the most vibrant colors I've seen in the whole trip. What is here? So it's probably a good lookout. It's called Lookout Rock. It is called Look Rock, and it has pretty good views. There's even a higher viewing platform, but you have to take a trail and I really want to make it to the Smoky Mountains National Park before sundown. Here's another overlook towards Maryville. We're going through the town of Townsend. encounter ridiculous heavy traffic by Wares Valley. I take a Ware Cove Gap Road as, as an alternate route in an effort to avoid the traffic. Check out this narrow one-lane bridge here uh, crossing the Little River.
This is Little River Gorge Road, very picturesque. Actually, let me stop here for a minute. Getting traffic once again. No matter how much you try to avoid uh, traffic, it will catch up to you eventually. There are only so many roads crossing these mountains and everybody wants to go to Gatlinburg. Well, I've been stuck in traffic for over half an hour. This is not moving. This is not fun. And I'm not even going to Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg anymore. Yeah, yeah, obviously all the traffic is uh, these people trying to get to Gatlinburg. This is ridiculous. It's obviously the only road going that way. And they have a guy directing traffic. That's usually the problem. Continue on US 441 South for 30 miles. Okay, we might see some fall foliage after all. This is the road that goes uh, into the Smoky Mountains and I wish I would, I would have been able to come earlier through here but... It looks like someone spotted some wildlife and that of course always causes a bit of a traffic jam. Although nothing compared to all the people descending towards Gatlinburg. How many people fit in that town, anyways? I don't know, never been there. Anyways, we continue gaining altitude here on the 441, going into the heart of Smoky Mountains National Park, eventually Newfound Gap. Are those fall colors I see on the left? We are almost at the top. Here we are, Newfound Gap. I actually wish I would have come earlier in the day. The views are absolutely magnificent, breathtaking. The camera doesn't really do it justice. After all these days on the road, I finally get to see the fall foliage, the turning of the leaves. I finally get to experience fall. It is probably time to turn back south, but before that... Well, let's take a walk in the woods. My head there. Uh, this is the Appalachian Trail, also known as the AT. Okay, now I'm all by myself. Okay, that's it. I'm turning around. And they're taking wedding pictures down there. I've done two segment hikes today. About that. But it's time to continue. I don't want to make it to the campground uh, at night. By the way, here we are. North Carolina, Tennessee State Line. All right, it's time to go. It 
seems to me like on the eastern side of the Appalachians, the leaves uh, turn earlier. I mean, don't you see a little bit more of reds and golds on this side, or is it just me? Anyways, uh, back to the campground. Tomorrow we have an early start. Well, good morning, it is a brand new day. A little drone flight before we go? Sure, why not? And that's all. Today we begin the journey south. I've got some stuff that I want to show you on the way to Florida, so keep an eye out for the next video. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, Thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.